are you, Arthur? Fine. Hmm. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that oh, was geez. a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. Tragic. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, I'll we shut have up a problem. You. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? Who's Tilly? taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Yeah, we're going to feed them to the alligators. Guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. She's so mean. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Okay. I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Don't get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said your last word. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. I need to loot him. Can I loot him? Oh, she's gonna loot him. Absolutely rude. That's fair. She killed him, what though. What the hell? What the hell you think you're doing? Okay, I don't recognize Tilly. It's all right. She's one of us. Oh, cut her free. Let's get you out of here. See, I told you. I'm so good at this. I can be a script writer. It don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well... We killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Oh, yeah. Anyone five of them? This, shoot them. About to oh, kill don't five worry, of I'll them. Just fine. Now catch that bastard. You couldn't have got your own horse. Bring them back alive. I ain't done with them. All right. Get after them. Oh, yeah. We're going. Stay right on their tail, Arthur. There we go. Okay. Right. There's another one I down. Think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Ooh, we're Go gonna on. lasso him? Okay. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on I this. I mean, bastard. she kinda sadistic, but I kinda I kinda I'm feeling Come it, you on. know? Get him, Arthur. Come here. Nerd. That's it. <laughs> now make sure you tie him up real good. I don't care about your arm, bro. Come Wait, get tied. Before he gives you the split. Make these nice and tight. All right. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. You were with me earlier. Like, you could have just taken a look there. Like, I get this is for Tilly, but stop trying to make this about you. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. 
Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Mm. Right. I'm gonna spare. I hope that doesn't bite us in the butt. Let's get you home. Because yeah. you gotta think, the rest of his gang is still gonna come after her, right? So, like, he does need to call that off. But there's always the possibility that he's like, oh, we're actually just gonna plot and come back. Which, I like my chances, right? Dude's an absolute bum. I just ripped him off of a horse, and then I beat him up in front of a bunch of girls, right? So, I mean, come on. Back back in 1899, that was the most disrespectful thing I could have done. Oh, you? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. Cinderella, what are the chances? Son of a bitch. Well, I gotta go dress up fancy now. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is fancy. Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. <laughs> Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. I don't like the not having my gun thing. Also, who's that random guy? This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. Ah, Mr. We Spaghetti. Are honored to be. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come down this way. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboys who arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people. It, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fusar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? I feel like this guy's yes, really yes. pissing and Dutch off. The mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm 
going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Ah, none taken. None taken. <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. Mm. They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle <laughs> with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open road. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Ooh, Dutch Ooh, doesn't like them. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> yeah, Dutch does not like him. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. You go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us. Okay, I gotta find the mayor. I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, I'm you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical I don't like this mayor. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Hey, I'll I'll say you and me cool off. Uh oh. <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Nah, you're getting you're getting tossed, bud. Come on, sleep it off. <laughs> Everybody was so startled. <laughs> Sit down. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. <laughs> There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. A writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Ooh, fireworks? They had fireworks back then? Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, monsieur, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall oh, is a no. horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. We saw the big Cornwall factory when we came in. Hi. Enjoy the fireworks. Stop talking to me. Oh, you guys can't see him. Okay, bye. 
Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. Hi. What did you find out? There's plenty of money, Moose, through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. Oof. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. <laughs> all them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Dutch and his ideas. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> What is this? Came. Romeo and Juliet? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look at this guy in the back. Look at this freaking so, uh, lady. What do you need? Nosy. Wait there. I'm coming straight down. <laughs> yeah, get a move on, fellas. Oh, look at Arthur, bro. He's got a crush. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool <laughs> than I even thought. No, bro, she's talking to you. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Then the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. Dang. Truth hurts. I am. I should have asked someone else, but. But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. Uh, She's just wasn't using us. That I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so 
long ago and far away now. Arthur does Will deserve better. Will you help better. me try to save Daddy? <sighs> like I, like I want to be a good he came person. All this way. But like you're trash. You're just using us. It would really mean a lot. Tell you what. Come along, we'll help. Man. We're a good person. Where are we going? We're going to help. What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose <laughs> I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. You guys are so bad at communicating your feelings. Oh, you're just gonna ride on my horse? Okay, that's fine. This is the place. All right, we'll see what he's about. We'll do our best. You know, see how we can. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. Did Arthur just look at her butt? Did you guys see that? He's probably Can't peeking, there. but... Excuse me? What, in the street? Yes, in the street. You trying to get beat up, Is nerd? your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Oh, yeah. Okay. Get around the corner. Good, 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 good. Oh, a little cutscene. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> That is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Oh, what a dirtbag. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even his to sell. Oh, it's like just a Mr. brooch. Gillis. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Mother enough. left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. <laughs> He's like, shut up. He'll probably kill someone. Oh. Yeah, I probably will. Can I shoot the driver? I know I probably can't kill him, but... Oh, what the hell? Yeah. 
Oh, he's in here. You're making a big mistake. Also, why don't you just jump out? This thing goes like, what is this, 10 mile an hour? Like out in the dirt and grass? Probably not gonna get hurt jumping out of this thing. This is insane. This wants me to drive out here. Where are you taking me? I don't know. Is that a turtle? Those are like dinosaurs. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I'm gonna need you to come out of here. Get out of there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. What do you guys think about fifty? Fifty feels a little steep. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. I'll be a nice guy. I'll give you twenty-five bucks for it. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Shut up. What do you guys think? You guys think $25 and a fresh pair of hands was a fair trade for the brooch? Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Look at we're matching. So cute, uh, dude. Got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Good. Probably best not. I wonder if he would have said something different if I didn't kill that guy. Hey. What are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Oh. Uh, yeah, we'll go on a little date. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've Theater. missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, Oof. but you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lynn. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> oh, they're cute. <laughs> sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. <sighs> <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. My life wasn't supposed to... Oh... Is it too late for us, Arthur? Oh, that's up to you. I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. 
This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. And I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Okay, okay. My dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want Ooh. to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Dang, as long as you're paying. Hello, can I help you gentlemen? Yep, I need a yes, suit. My friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. All right, so I get this suit. Cool. All right, well, he's paying, so that ain't a bad suit. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Dang, and we got our hair on, did up. Get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight. Oh, to the barber? I gotta cut my hair? My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Yeah, let's see what we got. On you get them. Oh shoot, they're gonna drive me for once? I don't know. They George, never drive me. To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Sick. Well, look at you. From Toad, the prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Yeah, dude, I got money to Which spend. Reminds, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. Saint Hamlet. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. This Don't guy's got worry, friends everywhere. Arthur. We're all the authors. Get out of the street. Fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money, or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? All right, follow Strauss's instructions when playing poker. Take a seat, sir. I'm on my way. The game won't let me move any faster. Relax. Now, this is some fancy poker, and this is part of the mission, evening, so it's like gentlemen. we're doing doing our normal end of stream thing. Sorry, I'm late. I had some. Uh... Unfinished business at the bar. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. 
Okay, gentlemen, let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all? Oh, he says fold. Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. He shook his head. That means fold, my right? Wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> I should have. I should have stayed. <laughs> Hell with it. Here we go then. Oh, they're just going all in like that. Ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, okay, gentlemen. Okay. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, Ooh, it is. Here we go. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. Yeah, come on. You sound just Tough like guy. my wife. Interesting. A pair of cowgirls. Come on, hit me with a four of a kind. Yeah, you saw call me. Shit. Shit. I guess my luck hell. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. <laughs> Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Ooh, Arthur Swiss. doesn't know how to tell time. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. I don't know, dude. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Whoa, two kings? Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Okay. He's at it. Well, Strauss said do it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair of kings. Very good, but not good enough. Let me get three Shit. kings. Come on, give me the cards. Oh, they gave him three aces? Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! Ooh. No offense. <laughs> well played, sir. Unlucky Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? We shall. Gentlemen, please cash yeah. these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Oh, yes, he of would course, love sir. to. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Oh, well, let me follow, follow me, him. Sir. How do you do? Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Yeah, I'm gonna take this from you, homie. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> Absolute nerd. Idiot, huh? Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, 
Let's get out of here. Okay, gotcha. I gotta loot the safe. Also, he could have just shot me, but he was like, idiot, huh? You in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Can I loot him? Meet the others. I can't loot sure. this guy. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> ah! Oh, great. <laughs> that guy just dodged and got his buddy shot. Get wrecked. I mean, I was going to shoot both of you anyway. Where you think you going now? I'm freaking nuts with this thing. Oh. Whatever you do, don't forget I'm unarmed. Oh, suggest. I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly me. I clean forgot to bring my gondola. Damn it. We gotta go. Come on. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Oh my god. We're just jumping. That was a terrible idea. This was your worst idea. This guy. You didn't give us, like, a lifeboat. Nothing. Well... Never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, a, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, back there. fancy. All right, come on, let's get out of here.